Hello there to my loyal watchers, this is Dr. Cloud, welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke, and today, you'll be getting a few encounters here, and a phone call, apparently. First, I want the spike. If you guys are lost where we are now, I will link the place in the description below. Please get caught up. If you enjoy those videos, please like and subscribe, along with this one. Uh, let's see. Let me get that mock bike. I'm in for it, bro. Let's go. 100% in. Let's get this counter. Oh, wait, there are battles. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Let's go. I'm ready for you. Come at me. Gonna try and dodge train as much as possible, though, because I do want to try to use these trainers to grind up anyone who I add to the team. Easy, easy money. Let's go. Really want to pick up a citrus very soon, because I want recycle to actually be useful. Easy money. What's the side I can do? Confusion me. That's a skarmory, though. That's what it was here. I remember, I'm pretty sure Skarmory has better physical defense, so. I'm going to take out the side like though. Eh, yeah, did decent damage. I didn't get a Caterpie as a starter. That's all I can say about that. Oh, they have six. I thought that was it. Yeah, we got this, we got this. What do you got? What's your last one? Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Bayonet. Alright. Alright. 
definitely not what I was expecting to get. Um, oh, this would be perfect. Of all men for weaker Pokemon. That has hearts that come out of it, that's interesting. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Its soft and palatable body is very bouncy. When it sings continuously with all of its might, its body steadily turns a deepening pink color. Man, they word those so weirdly. Alright. Let's look at... Sure. After I type this real quick, I'm gonna try to pronounce it. Go uh, yeah, three. Yeah. Get in that box, guy. Yeah, three. Okay, I'm in for that. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna try to throw a ball at this. Um, throw a great ball. Okay, that didn't work well. Let's try another one. I honestly don't think I can touch it. <laughs> and it teleported away. Okay. Alright, that was kind of sad. <clears throat> right then. So, because of the lack of encounters that Ace got, I'm gonna try to get one up here. Because. I'd like at least one encounter that's kind of decent. Alright, what I got in this water. Late game Swablu is good. Just not currently. So I guess I'll take it. You know, in case anyone goes down, I've got Swablu in the back the party who can turn into an Altaria. Along with the uh, Magikarp back there. Oh, come on. Don't toy with my emotions. Blue says, Ooh, okay, I like that. It's gonna be Paul, you know, Paulina, Paulino. I hope to use you again. All right, now, honestly. I'll move. The rest of this episode is probably just going to be grinding up my current team. We have plenty of trainers to fight against. 
Um, just real quick though, I would like to write down the routes of all those counters I've got. So, 118, 117, and 111. Alright. And I'm fairly confident I can't get a Mobile City encounter, but I will run down here and pick up Rock Smash. Alright guys, question of the day time. So, question of the day. Would you rather travel or stay at home? Now, I feel like this kind of depends on like the day you're looking at. Like some days you're just like really tired and you just kind of want to just stay home in bed and just watch some Netflix or something. But then there are the days where you're just like, man, I really gotta get up and go do something. Like when you're on vacation, you're just like, I gotta just go and do everything. Like, you want to rest day somewhere in there, but most of the time, you really just want to get out there and experience what you're missing. Because you're not going to see that stuff whenever you go back home. So, there are, like, bonuses to both sides. Like, you get the comfort of your home on one side, but then you get, like, the secret unknown stuff from traveling. Like, it's, it's like a paradox question. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. I love a layer on. Awesome. <clears throat> Would love that curly too, but you know. Say lovey. That was a crit. Flinch. Yeah. Coming in. Hmm, probably not even splatty though. Uh, I just got this. Yeah, look at that. I just got this. Oh, I was about to say, no static, but... It read my mind. Boy, I really wish Nesleaf had a grass-type move for something like this. But no, for some reason Nesleaf doesn't get a grass-type move. Makes so much sense. So you had to be a blaze again. I mean, he's already a monster being combuskin, but you know, then there's a blazekin monster. I feel like I haven't ended up with like an extremely broken team right now. Like the encounters have been, I think, pretty even. Honestly. I mean, other than I guess getting like Latias, but of course I didn't catch that. Like, my team isn't like overpowered or anything by a normal standard. I feel like I just have really good coverage, honestly. I think there are more trainers that I forgot on that route, but... I hope all you people had a good Valentine's Day yesterday. And I hope 
those of you who are single are enjoying in the benefits of them over buying candy at stores. And I wish I could remember Magikarp's name so much. I also have a lot of really good like late game mon. Like I can pull out Magikarp involving Gyarados and Altaria. I think that's actually it though. I mean, next I have like Blaziken still. Late game, it'll be very interesting. says wow they're gonna blow me away if the next one they throw out though it's gonna be just something ridiculously good you well know, not exactly ridiculously good like I'm around bulky just not like crazy good I think I'm bringing specially bulky, if I remember right. Okay. Um. Oh boy, but I'll use water support. Or maybe I'm just gonna flinch him out. I mean, another reason it's so easy is because I'm pretty high leveled. I over leveled just a little bit. Helping hand splash. Quick, help me splash harder. <laughs> oh, jeez. This game. Oh man. Cool. Well, I could have had Cleppa and Iggly Bug. Gonna start making a set. I'm honestly trying to decide if I just want to run into the gym because I am pretty over leveled right now. I guess I could go in and like see what the gym trainer's levels are. I also really want to know when Dugong learns a water type move here. Because it's kind of getting a little annoying that he doesn't have like a water gun or something. Alright, let me go fight Wally here. And <clears throat> while I'm doing that, I can find out first of all what his levels look like and see if I'm too over leveled. That'll basically decide. No, I'm sorry, I'm not doing this voice. I want to tell it to Jim and see how much better I've become. Please, may I? Now hold on while. Oh, uh, sorry. Actually, I like. Now hold on, Wally. Since he started living with Pokemon, you seem to have grown quite a lot stronger. But you don't think you're pushing suddenly into the gym challenge? I'm not pushing it. If I can mind force with routes, I can beat everyone. Oh, hi, Doc. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Doc, I want you and my uncle to understand that. Would you have a battle with me? Thank you. Here I come. Alright. <sighs> see, when does Dugong get a water type move?
He doesn't. Wow. Wow. He doesn't get a water type. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. Just don't get a water type move at all. Why? Is that Harding gonna protect your one health? I'm way over level though, clearly. I like how he's a rich kid. Rich kid Wally. Uncle, I go. I'll go back to Verdant Terror. Thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's just not enough to have Pokemon to make them battle. That isn't what Reveal Trainer is all about. Wally, there's no need to be down on the show. What? Let's keep you from being stronger and stronger. Come on. I'd go home. Alright. <clears throat> it was John by me, you must be the guy who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us sometime? I'm sure Wally would love it. Alright. <clears throat> oh man, Scott. Hey. I was watching that match. You're friends with that boy Wally, aren't you? But well, you didn't hold him back when you beat him. Yeah, that's what real Pokemon battle is all about. I I like trainers like that. I'll be cheering for you. He's just such an like an unneeded character. I feel like. All right, let's run up in here and see what their levels are like. Cause we might just go ahead and fight the gym today, honestly. All those trainers might be useful for a later on experience. I can just dodge them all. Yeah, I'm usually on par. I'm pretty sure Vaporeon will have Water Gun by now. Let's see what their other Mon is and we can decide what to do from here. Okay. Kramer's more of an annoyance than anything, so... What happens when the helping hand poisons me? I'm a little curious. Or helping hand pound. Terrifying. You know, weird thing about Dugong, he gets sheer cold before he gets ice beam. I don't... I don't get that. First move he actually learns is rest at 29. Oh, don't you poison me. Thank you. Actually, we're a decent amount, so... Let's just finish this off. That's such a weird side effect. I'm shooting Aurora at you. So that's just like rings of the light, basically. So your attack goes down. Doesn't make a ton of sense, but you know, it is Pokemon. Pokemon doesn't always make the most sense here. Man, 
with these people. Go from my Vibrava to a Shroomish. Really scaring me now. Sure, I won't want to come back to this gym. Hey, look, that's what my first encounter was. Hmm. Honestly, I thought Headbutt would do a little bit more. I really want to teach you going more moves, but I just don't have the teams to do it. I want to teach all of them, like, just a kind of better moves. Or any of my cool TMs that I've gotten. But the issue is that, uh... First of all, they're very certain TMs. Oh wait, did I forget to... No, okay, I don't think I can get the secret power TM yet. Hmm. Interesting. It's actually kind of a scary lead. I mean, granted, I have, like, the type of effectiveness, but still. Wow, and they're both gonna hold on. Just barely. Okay. It's gonna mimic Aurora Beam? Okay. You do you. That guy's too much to knock him out, but no. There's one. Why does Marrow have a spike on the end of. I guess. It's tail. Like, or is that like a male classification thing? Like the males have a spike and the females don't. Which I don't. Ooh, that's a Milotic. And that's a close one. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I picked the right move though. Um, but I don't really know what that do for it because. Wow, um, because they fight with their clubs anyways, so what difference does it make you having... Man, they're annoying. You having this spike on your tail, like, what are you gonna do? Like, whip your tail arm, you're using tail whip and spike them in the face? Just doesn't really make the most sense to me. Just a lot of uh, the like gender differences that are like that. I'm pretty sure there's such little things that don't really seem like they'd matter. Wow, so close. That's headbutt and Surya's uh, double kick do right about the same damage. Going side by side in levels too. Alright, let me run back and heal. And then we'll take on this gym leader. You can always appreciate the music of the Pokemon games. I feel like they have to do a really good job. Or like the one place that doesn't have music and it just makes it all the more ominous. Even though it really shouldn't be ominous. I'm pretty sure it's a church. What's so uh, ominous about a church? 
Alright, let's do this. He said he shall electrify me. I thought we were limited to fighting each other with Pokemon. Wow. Pick the right lead. Yeah, definitely over level here. But like I said, we probably won't have another grinding session here for a little while. And Nidoran, a man. Oh, Scarlet and Trout Confusion. Man. I think that's his ace. So I'm on par with his ace. think that Nidoran was that strong. Also kind of remembering that my Slowpoke casts an adamant nature, which just makes this so much less effective. Oh yeah, that's how we do. Honestly, just because of that nature, Scarlet probably won't stay on the team unless I can find moves that's going to benefit her. It's really hard with her typing. That's another poison type. Um... Wait, just we seeing no self destruct right now? I'm really hoping not. Um, just in case. Yep. Oh. If I would eat it, but no. Dang. And your last one's a line in. Alright, Surya's got it. We're good. We're good. Would have lost Scarlet there. Couldn't do it. Alright, let's let's not do that though. enough for me. Let's take it out. Nope. Well, if he just wants to keep using his items, I'll just keep double kicking him. I'm fine with that. I need him to just a little bit more health than he can heal.
Almost self-destructed my starter to death. Just get, get out of here, Watson, with your self-destructing wheezing. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Um, who can learn Ice Ball? Interesting. But I'm pretty sure Ice Ball is a special move which will not help the girl off at all. Just want to be sure real quick. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright guys, so if you did enjoy this video, even though it kind of jumped around a little bit, please like and subscribe, and if you wish to know when these videos go up, you can always follow my Twitter, which will be linked in the description below. And I will see you guys next time.